Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I wanted to go over the apps I am most excited about this year. These aren't necessarily the best apps out there. They aren't the apps uh, I believe in the most this year, but these are the apps I'm actually excited about to see how they develop. The first one is Akiflow. And I'm a really big believer of these consolidation tools where you can take tasks from different sources and put them together inside of one app. I believe in that inside of Notes as well. I think most of us are going to use more apps, uh, but we will have a place to consolidate everything. That's like my thought on productivity. Uh, I love this app. It is beautifully designed. It does a great job at capturing tasks from different sources. So it can, in my case, it could do so for my YouTube videos, for my personal stuff, for my work stuff, and I could have everything consolidated into one place whenever I wanted to plan out my day. So I am really excited about this and how this keeps on developing because it is a tool and a way of thinking about productivity that I believe in. The second app I wanted to go over is called Tana and I love Tana not just because of its databases but how the databases are actually set up. Using search queries you can build yourself a database using these uh, tags called super tags and you can display them in different ways. What I love about this compared to something like Notion for example which is a tool a lot of people use is that it is so much easier to stay organized and I think a uh, thing with things like Notion or even Obsidian to some extent is the fact that you have to spend a lot of time organizing it and keeping it organized. Tana removes a lot of that with the search queries and the super tags. I find it a lot easier to actually capture things into the daily page or even the inbox if I'm on the go and then moving them or not actually moving them, just giving them a tag and they will appear in the place I want them to appear. So for a social media video, let's say I wanted to do a Tana video, I could just tag this with social media post and it will appear inside of here, which is such an easy way to do things. Uh, and that's what I like the most about Tana uh, and what I think is why people go to this app and why it has gained so much hype is just the ease of use of this app. It took me a long while to understand it, but once I've understood it, it is such an amazing app and so easy to capture and organize things. And I'm really excited to see how they will develop this further. Uh, I know that a lot of people want longer form writing into this. I don't know if they are going to implement that, but offline mode would be something they should implement. And just in general to see how this looks as it keeps on developing, because it is an app with a lot of potential that I like a lot. And hopefully they will be able to continue to develop this. Uh, and we will see even a better Tana for the next year. So that was Tana and the next one is actually called X-Tiles and it is another app I love because it is such a visual app and I know that a lot of people want a visual approach to their uh, productivity and this does a great job. However, it still needs a lot of development before it is at the point where I personally would want to use this, but it does quite a good job and it has everything you need for a productivity app. I love the fact that you have your tasks here, you have a dedicated task view and just the fact that you can customize everything quite visually so I could put a picture here if I wanted to and I still think that the visual note-taking space 
still has space for a couple more apps compared to all of the other note-taking uh, spaces or the niches inside of note-taking spaces. Uh, inside the note-taking space, I'm so sorry. I've had such a long day. Anyways, um, so this is a beautiful looking app. It works quite well and it has a visual approach to everything. I think this could become a Notion contender for people who like a more visual approach to note-taking. However, I think it still has ways to go until it is at that point. Uh, but I'm really excited to see this app and see the whole visual note-taking space develop because I'm a big believer in visual note-taking and there are a couple of apps like Heptabase and and um, and Milonote uh, and even Scrintle and My Mind, just to mention a few, but this does things a little bit differently. So I have two more apps on this list and this one is called Heptabase. Again, such an easy intuitive app to use. And the way this actually works is that you have an infinite canvas and you can have different notes inside of your infinite canvas. And once you have tagged it, you can actually create a database of all of those and you can view it in a Kanban view as well. They have a dedicated task uh, page now and you can even fill in your tasks in the, uh, daily, uh, the daily view or uh, the daily page which they call journal. So let's say I wanted to take out the trash. You can see that this task page appears here. And once I jump into here, you can see that it is scheduled for today. And the, the way they implement features is just perfect. It looks, everything looks really beautiful and everything works quite well. You have your whole card library here. And as I said, you have your databases here as well. So this is an app I am, I have been uh, looking at for a long time and they are doing quite well when it comes to developing. And as we go further into this year, I am hoping they will continue to develop and keep adding new great features to this. So. This is actually one of my favorite apps for the year, especially if you like a visual approach to note-taking. I don't necessarily compare this to something like Milanote or My Mind because Milanote and My Mind does such a great job at capturing pictures and even videos. Uh, and they have a more visual bend towards people who work in creative industries while this is more of your ordinary note-taking app just that it is on an infinite canvas if that makes sense i hope it makes sense so there is one more app i have on this list i am actually working on a new tutorial for this app it is called anytype and it has the most beautiful graph view i have ever seen if we jump into my personal space so this is one of the note-taking apps i use regularly uh, unfortunately i haven't used it a lot the last couple of weeks simply because i haven't been home as much and i have this on my home computer this is a very new uh, player and a very new way of looking at personal knowledge management. It is not the fact that it is just local and you have control of your data, but they are really innovating in several ways. This has databases as well, and it is still really early in its development. I've used this ever since it was in alpha, and now it is in beta, and I am still using it a lot. It has uh, implemented multiple spaces as well as a calendar, and there are still a few things lacking. And I compare all of these database sort of uh, note-taking apps with Notion because I believe that Notion is the main competitor, maybe alongside something like Obsidian. But to get to where Notion is, it still needs more development. But this is called object-based note-taking. So everything inside of here is an object, which just 
it just makes sense. It is similar to what Capacities is doing, which is another app I am excited about, but it didn't get into this uh, list. I had to be strict because the video is already 11 minutes long or something like that. Anyways, uh, one of my favorite note-taking apps, any type, and I can't wait to see what the team is working on. And I would like to see a better onboarding here as well. And if you want to try out any type, I have a few videos on here and I'm working on an updated uh, tutorial on this, which should come in the next couple of weeks. As usual, if you have any questions, any apps you want me to review, comment it down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you again quite soon.